Hey there, kids. Danny here. And Simon. And we're going to try our hand at being famous YouTubers as we go through this new series all about healing. Yeah. So if you're watching us on the YouTubes, hit subscribe and the like button. Okay, let's get to it. With each video, we will take a question submitted by you and we're going to answer it because it's so fun. <laughs> Simon, read off a question. Okay, let's see. Ah, here's a good one. Snot Rocket LL14 asks, how do you make an apple pie? What a delicious question. Great question, Snot Rocket LL14. Actually, this would be a great chance for me to use my newly launched smart home device. You've heard of Alexa and Siri? Well, my new device is called Janet. It stands for just another needlessly entertaining technology. We just say, hey Janet, and ask it a question. Janet, <laughs> how do you make an apple pie? Sorry, I can't find Abe Nice Guy in your contacts. Would you like me to text your crush, Adam Lorenzo? Who's Adam Lorenzo? No one. <laughs> Do you have a boyfriend? No one. Let's try again, but more clearly. You know what? Simon, why don't you try it? Okay. Hey, Janet. <laughs> How do you make an apple pie? Buying tickets to the movie, a big fly. What? That sounds like a pretty good movie. Try it one more time. Hey, Janet. How do you make an apple pie? Now ordering 500 apple pies. I'm gonna need some milk. Why don't we just read another question? This one is from GoldenEye95. They ask, does God still heal people? That's actually what our lesson is talking about today. Simon, kids, what you gotta know today is, God still heals and he knows what I need. Say it with me, ready? One, two, three. God still heals and he knows what I need. And that's what you gotta know. Great job. Jesus still has the power to heal today, and he knows what we need. Today, we're going to be talking about the healing of a man who could not walk. And while you guys learn about this amazing story, I'm going to try and fix this Janet device. I might need a new plug to send more power at him. Okay, sending flowers to Adam. <laughs> you have a boyfriend. <laughs>
guess what time it is? It's Bible story time! Jesus and the disciples were at a place called the Pool of Bethesda. This was a small pool of water in the city of Jerusalem. Jesus went to the Pool of Bethesda and saw a man lying on a mat. This man was lame, which means he was crippled and couldn't walk. Jesus felt very sorry for the man. So he went to him and asked him a question. Would you like to get well? Jesus asked the man this because Jesus knew the man had been crippled for 38 years. That's a long time to be unable to walk. The lame man answered Jesus, I can't, I have no one to help me. The man didn't realize who he was talking to. He didn't realize that Jesus already knew all of this. After all, Jesus knows everything. Not only that, but Jesus had the power to help the man. Jesus had the power to heal the man completely. And that's exactly what happened. Jesus told the man, stand up, pick up your mat and walk. Suddenly, the man began to crawl to his knees and then slowly began to stand up, knees wobbling until finally he got all the way to his feet. The man was completely healed. Everyone around him was amazed at the power of Jesus. Jesus demonstrated that he was the healer. The man took his mat, rolled it up and walked away. He didn't need that sitting mat anymore. I bet he didn't want to sit down for a long, long time. He'd been healed by Jesus and he would never be the same again. Jesus still heals people and he knows exactly what you need. If you need healing, Jesus can heal you just like he healed the man in our story. Well, I hope you enjoyed our Bible story. See you 